Zolzal is in control, but is he really? Because at the end of the day, Bunny Girl Tude is the one puppeteering everything. And we don't even need any evidence anymore. <laughs> we, we can just like blame people and say, oh, we can come up with the evidence later. Things are going pretty bad in terms of the peacekeeping uh, uh, point. But this is great for us, for those who want drama, those who want war to happen. This is great. I hope not everybody dies, but like we need a little bit of brrr, brrr, as you reach the finale of this season, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Itami, what are you doing? What? He just gambled. Just where does it stick fall? <laughs> Knowing Itami and because he's a main character, this RNG bullshit will probably lead him to like the biggest reservoir or of whatever adamantium or oil equivalent here. <laughs> Ministry of Defense. Back in Japan. That's our friend. Yeah, what does that mean? Opurichina. Uh, bullshit rallies for empire supremacy. That's what Tude was looking at, right? The thing that they gave and they said, well, with this, you can just pretty much you know, convict anyone without proof. We're just taking anyone and just, you know, arresting them. Sugawara then is locked up? Oppose them. Not the time. This is basically just showing how much, you know, the Japanese people love their own, right? Like how the emperor said. Just wait. We're getting ready, bro. Raid on the empire. Reach out to Itami. Sussy. Very sussy. Oh god, it's her again. Shitty. Shitty smart though. They're here for us. They're gonna arrest Shetty? No shot, they're gonna arrest Shetty, dude. I guess the parents are just starting to go down here. Wait, is this one of the motherfuckers? There was like the three idiots of the prince, right? Where they were prisoner of war. I forget. Is he one of them? Where's the proof? Yeah, some poison. Oh! Sight! Wait! Are we fighting? What? Wait, wait, what? The fire. Fire? Alcohol fire. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? What is that? With the candles. You threw alcohol on them. What does this mean? Is this like a symbolic thing? Or are they actually under... Like, like, like they could like blow them up or some shit like, uh, uh, like like because we put alcohol and then if we like touch the fire then it's it's like boom what is the significance S the sound let's hear the sound hold up, hold up, hold up. i'll hear some sound i hear like a rattling sound what is the significance of that i don't get it rattling sound they're holding candles and he's like oh shit i'm not following i'm being slow right now i don't know like, it's not the sound of Shetty escaping that they heard. I don't know. Wait, how the fuck you gonna open that? Oh! It was trying to burn everything to the ground. Okay, okay, okay. That's what they're trying to do. Because, like, I was like, they got the candle. They threw alcohol. It's like, are we gonna, like, burn shit? They were willing to fucking burn everything down. Holy shit. Damn. This is so sad for Shetty, man. Shetty went from like being a joke lolly. Oh! This whole thing about beating the shit out of the children is funny to me. No, no, no. This is the getter secret. Like, focus. Shetty, your parents have sacrificed yourself. Do not let their death be in vain. Let's go. She's smart enough to realize. Where's she gonna go now, man? Sugawara-sama. <laughs> Sugawara-sama now brings Shetty in. He actually has a reason to protect her now. You know, beyond just like random lolicon fan service and politics, like where is Shetty gonna go? Maybe she can like join us at I don't know. Wait. That's so unfair. Oh, she's having a lot of fun with this man. Wait. 
ま、地で騒ぎを起こせばいいのだ。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そ
Leave Shitty alone! I swear to God, if he starts looking shitty, bro, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Who will give you a room out of the kind of their heart? This is not the person that just helped us, right? That was a different place that we asked for food. This is a separate place where they gave us hospitality, but still, it's fucked up. Never mind. Fuck him. What a piece of shit. He tried to sell them out to the cleaners. <laughs> All right, fuck that guy. He deserved to die. What a laugh. All right, Jade Palace. I'm still standing by it. Bozis is the hottest girl of this show. Who are you? No, stick true to the Bozis. Stick true to Bozis. Bozis and Kurokawa. That's what I'm sticking true to. Yellow roses. Bozis is army. Can't we just kind of walk up and just say hello? I'm Shetty from the royal family. Will they fall for it? Okay, we're in. What the fuck? Shetty dub? You know, Kazel dub too? What's she doing? What's she trying to do? The lawn is important? It's like symbolic. I mean, they were trying to like do emergency preparations to attack, so I'm sure everything is kind of put on hold right now, but I don't think they would be mad at these people specifically. Is he around? Well, beyond the lollicon jokes, I think this might actually be a smart thing to say politically because, like, maybe, you know, that could happen and it's like, oh shit, Shady might actually be trolled to Sugawara, so we'll get to talk. I think this is actually smart. I think this is actually smart if you can see it outside the context of lollicon fan service. <laughs> Her name is Captain Beef Eater? Beef Eater! That's fucked! <laughs> we have Pina Colada. We have Beef Eater. Rody Lolly Mercury. <laughs> These names, bro. Beef Eater. And the next one's gonna be called fucking Meat Rider, bro, and no one's gonna blink an eye. Best name so far. Yeah, Sugawara's bound by the rules. But Shady's gonna be your wife! Yes. Yes. Ah, shit. It's our 12-year-old. <laughs> she's just a 12-year-old. Okay, Beef Feeder doesn't believe it. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, she did. Ooh, even Beef Feeder's like, yo, you didn't do anything sussy, right? We gotta help her out. We, we gotta help her out. Her parents died tonight, bro. Come on. Show some mercy. Beef Feeder was pretty cool there. So, 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 you're gonna reject her? Bro, come on! Even like last or a couple episodes ago, she was the one looking disgusted at Sugawara when Shady was like getting all risen up, right? And now she's like, bro, that's fucked up. <laughs> that was a perfect answer from a diplomat, but that's fucked up. Sugawara dearly doesn't want to go to jail, bro. <laughs> He's like, nope, not touching her. Beef Eater tried her best. Ah, oh, shit, it's the broom people. Boo! Boo! Pina would not be happy. Bro, someone give Shitty a gun so she can shoot these clowns. Come on. Plot armor. Somebody, please. You're gonna. Sugawara! Sugawara! 
This is so unfair. This is bullshit! After they made it this far. Sugawara L. That's my 12 year old girl. What do we even say about this? How dare you touch this 12 year old girl? He has to say it now. He has to say, This is my future wife. That's the only way to, like, have a reason to get her back. No. <laughs> 16. Not 12. We're waiting till 16 as if that makes it any better, but still, we're trying to save Shetty right now. Get serious, guys. Guys, we're trying to save Shetty right now. We have to do this. Sugawara is not grooming Shetty. Shetty is grooming Sugawara, man. Let's go, guard. Yo, let's go, random old guard. Let's go. We made it through the turf. Come here, my 12 year old wife. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is the old dude, he has her holding it. She can't even touch the ground right now. That's crazy. And the sunrise is happening at the same time. You're right. This is the only anime, the only scene where with context, marrying a 12-year-old girl is allowed, okay? I I don't even know. I I even the words I'm saying out right now makes no fucking sense. You have to watch the anime. Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh. I'll get you more pearls, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> the last one was with taxpayer money. The government, her group was like, all right, here's some pearls to get to Shetty. Now he's like, nah. I'll Kate's coming to come out of my paycheck okay. next time. Show me the sunrise. Beautiful background. Wow. Do not kiss. Do not kiss. Oh, that was dangerous. <laughs> now, a uh, the, the couple episodes ago when, you know, Sugawara and Shiri actually met, she was fucking disgusted with Sugawara, but I'm sure now, with the context given, she's proud. Come on, cross the lawn, pussy. What are you gonna do? This is the yellow roses under Bozes' command, right? <laughs> broom my ass! The broom never fucking mattered, you fucking pussies! You ain't cleaners! You're just a bunch of fucking furries in a fursuit! Oh shit, here we go. Cliffhanger incoming. Cliffhanger incoming. Cliffhanger. Salute, yellow roses. And that's another episode of Gaiden. Today's episode might be one of the most unintentionally funny fucking episodes. Like, this is a very wholesome and emotional moment. But I'm just laughing the entire time because, like, bro, she's 12 years old. But, like, it kind of makes sense because, you know, her parents got killed. And, you know, she's getting chased after. And the only way to save her is if we have some kind of connection. So Sugawara has to go, you know, say that this is my wife to be when she's 16. When she's 16. <laughs> Not that it sounds any better. What a ridiculous fucking episode. What a, what a, age doesn't matter? You're right, age is just a number, right? Just like the amount of A time Sugawara is gonna spend in jail, bro. That's also just a number. Everyone else here is so fucking infuriating, right? The fucking cleaners, bro. Dude, these, these motherfuckers, I hope they get cut down by Bozus' girls. Bro, it's so infuriating how they can just do whatever they want. But, you know, we're at that stage of the game where the Mad King is being controlled by Tude and they're just starting all this shit and it's, it's chaos everywhere. So how are we gonna wrap this up well itami and them right they're kind of just looking for oil right now and this is and like how maybe we don't need itami's you know um help because right now that group is on its way to go find oil but we have the rest of the army that is saying we're gonna handle this so maybe this will really get resolved with that itami showing up i have a hard time believing that itami won't get involved at a certain point but like the plot points it's kind of going completely separate direction shetty listen 
Shetty's a very cute girl. She's very smart. I was feeling for her. You know, this is a very strong girl. Her parents just died. And she's trying her best to keep this fucking Kazal guy fucking, you know, give him some fucking food. Shetty's figuring everything out. Kazal should be the one fucking figuring this out. But Shetty is so goddamn smart. And it is actually kind of intimidating to kind of think about what Shetty is going to develop into. Not just a 16-year-old wife for Sugawara, but in terms of, you know, the diplomacy, the politics, the scheming that she can do. She can already do it as a 12-year-old, right? And also... One extra credit for this extra old guard guy that pushed him down and freed Shetty. Dub, Mr. Guard. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.